So now we will start with area conversion. Now what do you mean by area conversion? Area conversion is like uh, they will give you one diagram and they will tell you to draw another polygon like you know one polygon to another polygon keeping the area same. Now let's say if they will give you one rectangle of any size and they will tell you to convert this rectangle into a triangle. So what we have to do, let's say this rectangle is ABCD. So to convert this into a triangle of equal area, what I will be doing it? I will draw a height. I will take this distance AD. I will cut up. That means what I am doing? I am taking the height and again I am cutting it out. So I am taking double the height. And join this. So area of triangle AOB equals to area of rectangle ABCD. Now we can use the same problem. Like suppose if they will give you a triangle and they will ask you to convert into a rectangle, what we can do? We can draw a vertical line. We can bisect it. We will draw vertical line. So if you want to convert a triangle to rectangle, that time you have to do half the height. If you want to convert rectangle to triangle, you have to double the height. We can do the same thing with the base also. Like in, say, in this case, if I want to convert a rectangle into a triangle, we can double the base also. Now instead of a rectangle, we can use parallelogram. It will be the same. Like you know, we can take this height, we can double the height. We can convert parallelogram to triangle or triangle to parallelogram. Now I believe all of you have studied this theorem like same base, same height. Let's say triangle, area of triangle, area of this triangle equals to area of this triangle because base and height are same. If you want to draw this triangle area, it will be also same. So we will be using this theorem and we will be solving few sums. Uh, how will you convert a hexagon into a triangle of equal area? They will give you one hexagon of let's say side into 20. I am drawing it vertical. So you draw vertical line. Take this much side. This point. Draw a circle and you draw arc. Now if I want to convert hexagon into a triangle, then you see hexagon is made up of 6 triangles. So what you can do? You can maintain the base and you take height 6, 10. Let's say this height 1, 2, 3, 6. Then you join. 6 to A and 6 to F. So area of triangle A 6 F equals to area of hexagon A B C D E F. Now same theorem we can apply for pentagon also. If you have a pentagon and if you want to convert this pentagon into an equal area of triangle, the first thing you find out the center. After finding out the center, you take this height cut 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you join let's say this is A, B, C, D, E to join A to 5 and B to 5 so area of triangle A, B, 5 equals to area of pentagon A, B, C, D, E let's say you want only half the area, you don't want full area, so that time will bisect 2 and 3 and we'll join 
a and b. Let's say this is point f. So a f b area of triangle a f b equals to half the area of pentagon a b c d. Now we have one more method for pentagon. First we will draw pentagon offside three centimeter or seventy two degree method. We will draw a line. First, we will extend base AB. Then, we will draw a line parallel to DA and passing through E. See, we are keeping this form and we are sliding like this. So, we have drawn a parallel line passing through point E. Now, if you know this theorem, when base and height are same, all the triangle area will be same. The same way, if you see triangle. A E D will be equal to triangle B P A. If you see both the bases are same, so height is also same. So in this case, if you join A D P instead of A D E, you know, so we, we can equate this to area like both the areas of triangle will be same. So instead of triangle. A E D I'll be taking area A P and D. Same way I'll join D to B and draw a panel line. Now instead of triangle B C D we'll have triangle B Q D. So area of triangle P Q D is area of pentagon A B C D e. Now we will convert a rectangle into a square. And if I want to convert this rectangle into a square, first I will draw a line, then I will take this radius, this radius, I draw an arc. Let's say this is A, B, C, D. This is 1. Then we will bisect E1. Draw a semicircle. Extend this line wherever it will cut, that is point E, and that is the side of a square. Now take this BE, cut on this side, cut on this side, as well as this side. So this is a square. So we have converted a rectangle into a square. Now we have uh, two more sums. One is a quadrilateral. Like that's given. In, let's say, and first we will draw a diagonal. Then we will draw a line parallel to the diagonal, passing through from this point. Now let's say this is A B C. And D. Instead of triangle ABC, we will take triangle 
A B C. Instead of triangle A D C, I will take triangle A B C. So our main triangle now is A P B. Quadrilateral A B C. D. Now, suppose in exam they will give you two triangles and they will ask you to convert it to one triangle. So how will you do that? So let's say if there is a new triangle like this, two triangles, one is of side 80, one is of side 85, and one is of side 75, and over here is 30, 20, and 25. So what you have to do first, first you take this 85 side, draw it downward. Always the bigger side has to be on the downside. You draw a triangle, and then you draw a smaller triangle. Since you draw two triangles, the side 85 has to be on the downside as well as side 30 has to be on the downside. Now after this, you draw a horizontal line passing through this point. Let's say we name this point as A, B, C. So this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is P, Q, R. This is P. So from R we will draw horizontal line. Now instead of triangle PQR, we will go for triangle QSP. This point will be S. So instead of triangle PRQ, we will go for triangle QSP. After that we will join B to S. We will draw a line parallel to B to S passing through point C. Then we will extend this line wherever it will cut, that is point T. So instead of triangle BSC, we are going for triangle BST. So we got a triangle BTQ, which is equal to area of triangle ABC plus area of triangle PQ. 